Are you married to a narcissist? According to the online Wikipedia, the term narcissism comes from the Greek myth about Narcissus, a handsome Greek youth who rejected the desperate advances of the nymph Echo. This caused Narcissus to fall in love with his own reflection in a pool of water. Unable to consummate his love, Narcissus lay gazing enraptured into the pool hour after hour and finally changed into a flower that bears his name, Narcissus. What is narcissism exactly? Well, everyone has some degree of narcissism, but some people have higher levels than others. In extreme cases, we can have what is called a narcissistic personality disorder, which experts at the Mayo Clinic define as a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships, and a lack of empathy for others. Does this sound familiar? But things are a bit more complicated than that. Research shows that there are actually two types of narcissists. Type 1 are grandiose narcissists who genuinely have an overinflated sense of self. And type 2 are vulnerable narcissists who have low self-esteem and actually crave affirmation. Wait a minute. Vulnerable narcissists actually have low self-esteem even while they are bragging about themselves? Yes, according to the recent studies. Vulnerable narcissists are not after power, as grandiose narcissists are, but after status, recognition, and affirmation. Vulnerable narcissists loathe and despise themselves. According to Newport Beach psychologist Dr. Jim Tobin, these folks are always trying to prove themselves and they compensate for low self-esteem and feelings of inadequacy. And they do this by putting down other people. Insecure, vulnerable narcissists are like a tick who has to constantly find hosts, according to Dr. Tobin. They scan for secure people, hopefully you're not one of them, and then latch on like a tick. They then suck the blood out of the host to build their own self-esteem. The host slowly loses blood. Sometimes it feels like they are losing their soul in the relationship, no matter how much they give. Eventually, the host gets sick and feels used up. There's no blood left, but the narcissist is inflated. These narcissists constantly flex themselves. Like a tick, they need a constant source of emotional nourishment. So how do you spot a narcissistic partner? Well, number one, They are very defensive, fragile, and easily offended, causing them to anger quickly. Often, the more narcissism, the more aggression. Two, they are generally unable to handle negative feedback or normal pushback on issues which a partner may disagree with or have a different opinion about. They always have to be right. Three, They need their partner to constantly prop them up with compliments and positive feedback. You may feel emotionally drained. Four, they often present themselves as the misunderstood and unappreciated victim of their power. They suck you dry and then see themselves as the victim of you. Number five, you feel manipulated by them because they maneuver you into supporting their life agendas instead of yours. In our next video, we'll discuss five strategies to survive with a narcissistic partner short of divorcing them. For more tips on how to improve your relationship or to join our mailing list, visit my website at fioricouplescounseling.com or call me at 714 745 1393 to schedule a telehealth consultation.